Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Past, and today I wanted to show you this lovely antique Tibetan scent bottle or some kind of incense burner. It looks like a foo dog or a foo lion of some sort. It has semi precious stones throughout and it's made out of some kind of brass. The mouth is open. And I think this, you would put incense inside this and the smoke would come out through the mouth. It has glass eyes and it looks like coral beads, turquoise, and maybe mother of pearl. It's quite large because generally these are smaller in size. I'm very pleased to have this example if I had as I had another one before but it was half the size this is quite amazing and the workmanship is really unbelievable I believe this was made at the turn of the century to the 1920s it could possibly be earlier but I can't tell for sure that might be a sapphire, as a matter of fact. It's a different color from what appears to be turquoise beads. This guy is mighty looking, ferocious, and he's quite the character. So I'm gonna show you the one thing he does that's amazing. So I'm gonna place him down a moment, bear with me, and watch this. Okay, so this little guy is going to put on a show for you. And watch what happens. If I can ever get this done with one hand, I apologize. And here we go. His head actually comes off from his body. So his head is removable. And you can see the filigree work is absolutely superb. Now you can see inside the mouth. So I believe this may be an incense burner. Let me show you the rest of his body. He's mooning you guys. So let me place his head back onto his body. So just give me one moment. And his head can pivot in 360 degrees. So as you can see, this thing is truly amazing. The craftsmanship is bar none. So once again, thank you for watching another one of my videos and be sure to tune in because I upload antique show and tell daily. I always like to uh, add a lot of interesting things to my channel and I hope you agree by hitting the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.